Good morning. We encounter today something unique in the three year or the two year cycle of daily readings. We heard from the prophet Nahum. If uh, you were filling out your I heard from that prophet recently card, you can fill it's like bingo for uh, daily mass goers. You're good to go. Nahum, one of the minor prophets, just, just shares a, a contradiction. He says good things about Judah. Things might be rough now. They're going to be good. Keep going. Nineveh, things look good. They're going to be bad. And a, a message that, in a certain sense, the, the substance of of what life looks like today is not within my control, which is what Jesus is sharing in this, in this gospel. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. We hear these things all the time and we like know they're there and we we may be on the journey of embracing them but they're challenging words they're hurt filled words taking up one's cross denying oneself accepting functional or actual death for the sake of Jesus is scary. Yesterday, we didn't hear the gospel because we heard the gospel for the transfiguration. We get down from the mountain. Peter makes his confession. Jesus says, you're the rock on this rock. I will build my church. And then he says, I'm going to get crucified. And Peter pulls him aside and says, Let, we can figure this out. We can negotiate with this government. He doesn't say, eh, yeah, let's think about it a little bit more. Maybe I can compromise. Maybe I can carry my rosary and get elected president, you know, in a secular moment. Maybe I can have my cake and eat it too. No, he says, he says get behind me, Satan, to Peter. He calls him the devil. The temptation remains, and not just in the political sphere of the, the broader culture, but in our own lives. Like, what, what are we tempted to forget about for the sake of keeping things going forward? Keeping it easy, simple, functional at home. What truth am I not honoring for the sake of comfort? Where does the Lord want me to let Him have my life. Whew. It's a scary thought. It's why we have the power of the Eucharist to fire us up to live this way. You got to lean into it. Sixtus and Companion, the second, Sixtus the second in Companion, uh, in Companions died on this day back in the third century under the persecution of the Emperor Valerian. From time to time, the emperor decides, we don't like you Christians. And then we get to decide whether we'll accept death, marginalization, political irrelevance, persecution, accusations of various mean things, or we give up and go along with the crowd. Sixtus and his deacons didn't do that. Let them let their witness strengthen us on our journey. Sixtus the second and companions pray for us. <laughs> 